In this session, I'd like to discuss the Nobel BioCare Torque Wrench and Basic Prosthetic Kit. In the kit box, you'll find the torque wrench with the hand adapter inside, the long and short unigrip driver inserts, and here the multi-unit driver insert. The multi-unit driver can be used for a straight multi-unit abutment and also to tighten the immediate temporary abutment for a single tooth restoration. The torque wrench has a spring arm design which is far superior to the breakneck torque wrenches which have been common in the industry for many years. In my experience those breakneck wrenches are rarely cleaned or calibrated like they should be which can lead to some guesswork on what actual torque you are placing on your screws. You can either over tighten and strip a screw or under tighten and have a loose fitting restoration which can really lead to a rough day at the office trying to get to that screw. So best to utilize the torque wrench. The hand adapter by simply pressing down will come loose of the torque wrench and now you can place the long or short unigrip driver, simply push in and turn to hear a distinctive click and it's ready for use. Any other system that has these latch head inserts either for an 050 hex or anything else can be purchased and used in the Nobel BioCare torque wrench which makes it a very versatile tool for your practice. To release simply pull out firmly and then utilize either the long or the multi-unit driver. Now it simply fits in from the bottom making sure that the Nobel BioCare logo is on top. You'll hear a distinctive click and when it's properly inserted you can have a kind of a ratchet sound to it. One important feature is to make sure that the directional arrow here at the back of the torque wrench is facing you. I'm going to zoom in here a little so you can see that. Right now it's facing incorrectly. It's facing away from me. I should pull out and rotate it until the arrow is now facing in this direction towards the spring arm. Now we're ready to torque. You can also see here that it's clearly marked at 15 and 35 newton centimeters of torque. Please refer to your prosthetic manuals for the proper torque level for each screw. Another important feature to notice here is this knurled knob. This must be touching the shaft for proper usage. Many times during cleaning that is unscrewed, it can become loose. And if it's loose, you will not hear that ratcheting sound. It's simply just swinging freely. So therefore, you have no tightening of the screw whatsoever. So simply tighten it all the way to the shaft so you hear the ratcheting sound. When cleaning the torque wrench is necessary, Simply unscrew this knob all the way until that central shaft can be pulled out freely, entirely. Thoroughly clean these parts. Let them dry completely and then steam autoclave at 135 degrees Celsius for five minutes. Reinsert the central shaft and tighten the knurled knob all the way until it's touching. As you can see now, the direction indicator arrow is facing the wrong way. So I'm going to pull it out, turn it, and we're ready to go. The easiest way to tighten your screws used using the torque wrench is to start by hand. Take this screw, tighten as tightly as possible by hand, and now with the torque wrench coming again from the bottom. Engage, snap, use my finger on top for stability, and then make a sh very small move to the appropriate torque wrench level. 35 for this particular button. Another thing that I've noticed at a few offices is that there is a little bit of confusion on the proper adapter to use. There is a manual wrench that looks very similar to this insert. 
here. It also accepts the latch head drivers. As you can see here, they do look similar. But if you try and utilize this manual wrench in the torque wrench, you'll find that it simply slips and won't properly engage. It won't, there's no stop. And, no, and you can barely hear a little ratcheting, but it will not engage completely. The proper shorter adapter has a stop, and then you'll have distinctive ratcheting sound. I hope that clears up a little of that confusion. The multi-unit insert can be utilized in this way. You can start by hand with a hand adapter. Our straight multi-unit abutments come with this plastic carrier. Simply take it to the site and screw in as much as you can by hand. This will come off and now use the multi-unit driver and tighten as tightly as you can by hand. And now we'll use the torque wrench again, slipping it over until it hits the bottom, making sure that's right, that the directional arrow is toward us. Take it to the abutment and torque it to its proper level. Uh, clinically, it would be 35 newton centimeters of force for a straight abutment. I don't want to lock it in here. I hope that helps. Please contact us for further help if you need it. Glad to help you here at Nobel BioCare.